Good morning and welcome back to the mountains of Scotland. What a glorious day to start with, which is 25 degrees today, super warm, one of the warmest days so far in Scotland after all the bitter, bitterly cold weather we've had. Today I'm actually going to wild camp on top of Sister Doop. Actually, just below the Sister Doop there's a little saddle, that's where I'm going to set up my tent. I'm going to try to capture an image here during sunset and sunrise. The weather at the moment is very unpredictable. It's been very warm, but also cloudy at the same time. Today we have a lot of high clouds, so the sun is coming through, but not as much as I thought it would be. But it doesn't matter because it can still give us some really beautiful glow in the mountains. This is where the view unfolds. We're at the moment at 500 meters and it is absolutely spectacular. We are on the saddle in between the two mountains, which is the Munro and the Corbett. Behind me is where the view is towards Glenshew. And then this lump, which it looks like a far summit, is where we're gonna go up, which is pretty steep. The first kilometer, we gain about 300 meters elevation. So it's gonna be pretty steep that bit. And it's also meant to be quite boggy, that area. So it's pretty slippy there's also some snow patches which looks absolutely amazing i hope there's some snow patches on top of this lump towards the munro because that would be amazing to capture the photograph the weather conditions at the moment are changing again more cloud is rolling in it kind of looks like towards the horizon or towards where the sun's going to set there's a bank of clouds so potentially that might ruin the sunset but towards the south where I'm gonna to shoot towards this sunset. There's still a lot of like high clouds, so potentially that might actually glow up and have some beautiful pink colors, but we will see once we reach the Munro. I just found a really good camp spot there's like a little section just hidden away from the wind because the wind comes from the south at the moment southwest which there's quite a bit of wind once you're on top of the ridge there's a lot of wind it's pretty cold actually without a jacket on um, just on the right of me there is one of the first peaks and then behind it is the Munro and that's where I'm gonna do the photography to be honest I think tonight it's not gonna be anything there's too much cloud. The sun is behind me still, but as you can see, there's just too much cloud, which will probably just kill the colors in the sky. Maybe if we have a look, there might be just some colors above the mountains just from a fading light. But to be honest, I think the better light will happen tomorrow morning.
And just when you think there's gonna be no light tonight, there is this really beautiful fading light in the horizon. It doesn't do anything spectacular to the clouds, but in the distance, there's this red glow because the sun just came through a tiny bit through the really thin clouds. So it looks really red in the distance. And then above the mountain range, there's also this beautiful red glow from the sun. So I actually found a composition to work with this light. I actually got these two pools looking across the mountains and then you have mountain peaks in the distance and then some beautiful light which looks absolutely beautiful i think it actually is going to work out this photograph it looks really beautiful wow and just when you think it's not going to happen something happened just a tiny bit of light Currently 4 a.m. and the clouds are starting to light up now. We might be lucky this sunrise because there's a tiny gap on the horizon and that's the only gap you can see all around Scotland. And that's where the sun is gonna rise. The clouds are starting to light up just behind me there, which looks absolutely fantastic. So hopefully the gap stays there because in half an hour time, things can change really quickly and the wind speeds are quite fast. I'm sheltered from the wind from the summer behind me, but I just need to wait and see if anything's gonna happen. Conditions look quite perfect. In a the distance, there is just clouds everywhere. So that might up, light up really beautiful when the sun actually comes up, but we just have to wait the last half an hour. The landscape in front of me was lit up a bit more before um, due to the, the cloud getting the colors but ooh, it's gonna be a waiting game and cross fingers again to see if we're actually gonna see a sunrise at the moment the light is now on the mountain it looks absolutely incredible the wind is kicking in now and the sun is just about to fade behind the clouds so there's not much time left until the sun disappears but as the sun is rising for some reason the light is really beautiful and I think it's because there's like a little haze or cloud just in front of the sun which dims the light a tiny bit but makes it everything look super green because it's starting to turn into summer colors
The light didn't stay for long as more clouds started to roll in. I captured the best of the light and decided to head back to the camp. So the sun is now gone behind this bank of cloud. Because of this bank of cloud, it dimmed the light really beautiful. It was like a really subtle light on top of the mountains. The second mountain in the distance, which is like a pyramid shaped mountain, which is the Corbett, um, had some really beautiful light just on top of it, just like a slither of light and it looked absolutely incredible. I think that was one of my favorite images with just the light on top of the second mountain.